Hello and welcome to Zach103 TV. Today we're going to be racing at Watkins Glen here in the NCCRS. And starting pole, we got Shred in the number 73. And the booth with me, I got Reggie Fogelman. And hello, hello. Yep, funny enough, he's got three, three, three of his four cars. Three, 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 three of his four cars stopping in the top 10 in this race. It's going to be a very short race, nine laps, pretty much just a season filler. Um, again, 10% for the NC Series. If it was shorter than that, this race would be five laps, which would be quite the dash, but we'll see. Um, anything interesting you want to point out by basically about like any interesting people starting here up front that could shake up the point system other than Zig Zagoon starting way up here and Frank Chilton starting way out back, even though their points lose like five <laughs> points from each other. It, it could be a huge point swap for the points lead here. Yeah, anything other than that you might want to point out in terms of any possible points, shakeups, or whatever. Monaco up there near the front. Monaco's up here. He's uh, he could have a good points today. He's just outside of the playoff bracket, Potato. so that would put him in. Potato, Potato boy. He's also uh, he's inside the playoff. Back, I want to go to the back. Is that go back to Frank? Frank Chilton. He was the best of the the best of the random qualify. As some of the cars did not qualify. He didn't. No, there was like thirteen of them did not qualify. So, and Chilton was one of them. Don't know why, but he was one of them. Vince Freeze, who's doing well points, also uh, did not post a qualifying lap. And Rubino Gonzalez and Cooper also uh, doing good in stands. Cooper, however, it's just Styles, a race, but... Styles, Monster, Moon, Jeremy Frey, the 97, all the ones in the back back there all did not qualify from Jeremy on back. Oh, yeah. 97 to Kyle Schuster, he's, he did qualify, he, he, uh, his top 10 streak ended and it's been a very sour, sour uh, turn of events ever since that, but hopefully things do get a little bit better in that team. But yeah, Schuster, uh, teammates of Pox Cozart who won the Daytona race, Pox Cozart hasn't made a lot of noise since that, but um, he's no longer in the playoff bracket either. Then Jack Ross still in it. Just it's gonna be really points filler. I think we're gonna see some passing in the mid pack for sure. Faster cars may find their way up front quicker. I just hope that we don't see three wide like we did in Happy Hour. I mean in practice. Yeah, hopefully they don't put it too risky here on this initial start because that is when we're gonna have to get everything figured out. Because uh, after that, I think it's gonna start really filing itself out, and then everyone's gonna start spreading out, and we're probably gonna see faster cars make their way around who they need to um similar weather configuration as to portland in the cup series hoping to get a similar aspect where passing is possible and the faster cars are able to get around the cars that are not as fast and uh don't have the same guy leading the whole race so that's interesting but yeah, Zig Zagoon, he's in a spot. He doesn't even need to lead or the race or get any points other than where he's at. He could take the points lead just by finishing in second. On the other side of that, he needs to defend what he can. I mean, he's got a huge points day ahead of him if Frank Chilton finishes where he's starting, which is 35th, 36th, or somewhere around there. Um, and the points lead gap is only five points. That would be a 30 points gap just in one race because Frank Chilton did not qualify well and he's, we've seen that road courses are not his strong suit. Zig Zagoon has just been solid every race um, pretty much in the past few races. Um, he's just been really solid and we've seen Pontiac do it in the Cup Series too. Joy Paints, same team. Salamander Incorporated. Um, something interesting to see. Then Shred, we haven't really talked about him at all. He, I mean, he flipped a couple times last season. But he, about to get the commitment okay. for the engines in about five seconds. Drivers, start your engines! Yeah. 
Looks like some cars may have money shifted. We'll have to see on the grid, make sure that everyone is having mechanical issues, and if not at the initial start, because see you later in the race, maybe some mechanical issues. Reggie, you want to call the start? Yeah, I can. We're going green, Zach. Green, 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 green flag in there. Shred gets a good start. It wasn't a car length, so it should be legal. Monaco making it a little risky to get around the 06. Track house teammates surging in the second and third. No. Yep. This is the area we talked about in practice. These guys, they like, they feel like this is a passing zone. Yeah, and there were three wide in that corner <laughs> earlier. Oh, don't spin out your teammate. <laughs> I ain't know if you've seen that, Zach. Them two almost spun each other out. Up one goes clean as we may have a pass for second. Patrick Miller trying to get around a 48 of Eric Monaco. And these are teammates, rookies as well. And Zigzagoon trying to lead their way, his way around there again. He's in a position right now. He just needs to do okay. So he gets a little Ooh. touch with the 48. I think the 48 will surge ahead here. It's a 99 of Potato Boy. They try to get a run off that corner there. 18 Hickler running back in the 93. See if he does anything with it. It's no surprise he doesn't. Takes the corner a little bit too conservative. And then you run the corner quite as well. Who's that? There's three wide back there in the back. Michael Garrow, Michaelo Garrow in the 43, I believe, was four wide there. Anthony McClure to see him fizzle out. That was for seven. I'm going to track out some fun in the top ten. Oh, looks like I think something hit the wall. I think Shred, the leader, hit the wall. The leader is trying to hit the wall off the corner. We have a new leader. It was Patrick Miller in... The two track house cars take to go ahead and take a look and see where he hit the wall. And that entirely ruined oh I think Patrick got into him. Take a look at this real quick. Take a picture. Oh, he just got tight, hit the wall himself. Patrick stayed clean. He lost a ton of spots. He's down the he's down the fifth and now zigzagoon trying to get around the ninety-nine. And then I closed the door. So new leader, Patrick Miller. Not three. It's like you're a lap behind. Let me know that. No, it is lap three. Coming to approach and start lap four. There's seven of the jet back there. He's been trying to. But he's been trying to claw his way. Just some consistency here. We've got a cut for him in our cup series as he blocks a space guide there. Oh, okay. Gets him going a little deep in this 37 gear digit. Just a little bit there. Yeah, I'm going to say this. Eli's probably telling them two cars do not wreck each other. was just in the top three just a second ago. What happened? Oh, him and Shred got together. Ooh. Ooh. I think they saved the 99 broke something for sure, and he was out of the race after a spectacular run. Unfortunately, he won't be able to replicate, and this puts a big gap in the field. 
Zaggy oh, moment to go back. In the back. Oh, caution's out. Uh, they might save it. They might save it. I think it's even worse. I haven't seen either, but I'm going to wait and find out. Oh, the 71. Oh my gosh, caution is out. What happened? Alright. Did Noah get into him? I think he did. I think it was before this. No, it was behind it. Somewhere behind this. Are you sure? I think it's in front of it. You know, I think I might be a lap, lap ahead. Oh, wait, yeah, you're right. It was the 30, a Cooper, and the 45. Styles yeah. and Cooper. Yeah. Styles and Cooper. A couple rookies in a, right in front of Rabina Gonzalez. We'll go slow-mo here. Well, look who's right there, Mr. Consistency. Yeah, there we go. Mm. Uh, oh, wow, okay. Virtually went through the wall. Oh my gosh. 11, 45. Oh man. Hard hit for Vince Freeze. Kirk Pockers really close there. Oh man. I got to see Vince Freeze is on, on, on this. He, that looked like a very close to hit from, I'm not sure if you've seen, um, the new <laughs> <chart> <laughs> between Jeff Gordon and, oh man, that could have been bad. Again, real slow-mo here. Vince Freeze just came off a top five run. 30, catapults in the 45. Oh, man, that looks scary. 45, hard hit there. 11. If that were any serum, it would have been very bad. I don't believe the, the 11's out of the race now. I'll we'll see what yeah. happened to the 71. The 71 had a separate incident. Did it freeze? Nah, it's going back a minute. All right, so he he hit the pit wall. <laughs> oh, so he got into the O2 uh, under pacing. So this was coming to the yellow. He was actually in 20th place. We'll go T2, TB1 rather. Hey, Let's see what happens here. Hey. So, oh, he got loose off the corner, got into the O2. Ooh, hey. that happened to Sabretooth in the Cup Series. That was a that's gonna hurt in the morning. <laughs> go back to live. That was. Quite the hit. It's Patrick Miller getting laps put into his standing. So, uh, why are we on lap zero? That's the pace car. That's on lap zero. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's the pace car. Don't score laps. Right, I think it'll be good to pace minus here. Well, I just laid it. So, uh, nine nine is not in the top ten. Neither is a seventy three or Pulsar who. Was involved in the wreck there. I believe you pitted. Well, no, you didn't pit. He's just outside the top ten. And Zach, you want to do race picks? What have we got under? Can we know, go back green? I think Monaco's going to be going to try to take this one away. Is we're going to restart with just a couple laps to go. I think Monaco may try to steal it here. Again, very short race, not a lot of points to be gained, but the win would look good on the on the resume. Right I'm going to go. I'm going to go the leader. <laughs> Out of the race is the 88 Matt and V. He was doing well in standings. And Vince Freeze was also doing well in standings. The 30 of uh, Cooper was doing well in standings. The 99 of Tato Boy, who uh, got involved in that incident with the 73 on the same lap. Zach, you still got small pace back there. Zach, you still got small pace. You might want to put a pace back. Pace back? I don't think, I don't think they're all caught up back there. That's just the Because Monster. Okay. This is. 45 probably has some damage. This is a road course. I don't think DQ should be an issue. 46 to get a little damage on track with contact with the. No, I didn't see them all bunched up because it looked like there was some still coming behind Monster, so. Yeah, it's just the drawing what? distance for the game just doesn't show every color. They should be doubling up. They might not. Okay, yeah, they're doubling up. It's Patrick Miller has been in this position for his entire. CCRS crew. Monaco. I don't believe he's been in that position either. You got Truly Money, who's fifth in the standings, right behind that, looking for a good point stay. And Ziggs again behind that, who's also looking for a good point stay. 
Frank Shilton looked for a recovery, and right now it's still not looking good. They got a lot of cars in between them and Zig Zagoon. Israel Dreamer in the top 10, along with Michael Garrow. Both of those cars aren't doing too well in the standings. Well, Jimmy Starr started late. And both the McClure Motorsports cars were in the fifth and sixth right now. Interesting guys in the top ten right now. I get an extra pick for them just because it looks kind of cool. There you go. I'm going to call this, uh, it should be our final restart. Uh, we might have another green the way they've been driving. Maybe. Green, 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 green. Green, green, green. <laughs> 04 4 tries to get a jump in the back. May have a little bit of damage. 6 pushes it in. Keeps it clean as he's trying to take the position away from Monaco for a second. Ryan Cole. As it looks like he had a very bad corner where he's losing a ton of spots right now. Hey, look at the 43. Michael Garrow. <laughs> Mikel Garrow. Uh, again, one of the dark horses. He's running up here already. Cars in the back trying to make positions. This is where wrecks happen is when you're trying to make positions past too many cars. Three wide between Riley Gers back there. As the 06 is catching the 18 trying to get the second of the season. That's what I said, Zach. They got to go crazy back there in turn three like we've seen in practice. And the 16 of Riley Gers just about had a mirror full of the 25 of Caden Williams. Two to go, Zach. Patrick Miller has to defend the 06. Again, the 06 not looking for a perfect day, but a good enough one to get the points there. And right now is looking likely that is the case. Oh, the 24 almost spun out there. Kept it clean. White flag next time. What's if we stay green for this line? Probably not, no the way they're driving. <laughs> the way they're driving, that looks to be the case. We'll keep a close eye on the back, see if we see any smoke. I might be a little true I might be a little uh, keyboard warrior on the, on the yellow tree. Uh, I kinda look you wanna see one, but I gotta be careful doing it. Monaco trying to get back around his 55 of Ryan Cole. Ryan Cole looking for his best finish of the season, end of his career. His teammate also in the top 10. Points do for those two. Zig Zagoon got a much better corner there. Oh, pushes him in. Does he hit the wall? Oh, so close. He's going to make a move. One lap to go. Zig Zagoon. Came in looking for the points lead. He may get a win here from, but Patrick Miller, he's gonna try to defend it as much as he can. He led the most laps today. He's trying to cross over, but the 06, oh, goes in, sends it side by side. Goes right there. Eric Monaco gets a run. The 06 clears. What does Monaco do? Keeps it clean. Teammates for second as Zig Zagoon take the lead on the white flag. And not only trying to take the points lead, but also take a win at the same time. Frank Chilton not faring so great right now. He is very far back in the pack. Oh, and they spin, but it's the last lap. We won't concern about it. Pretty far in the back, too. We'll have to take a look at it after they cross the line. Keeps it off the road. Never let a single lap, and finally, Zig Zagoon, the second one of the season, will be the first multi-winner of the season. Wow, kind of heartbreaking, but nonetheless interesting. I think Frank Chilton was involved in that. Again, last lap, you're trying to shoot for every position you can get. Yep. It yep. wasn't his fault either. So it just made his points today even worse. Got hemmed up between the 87 who won last race and the 93. And right into the back of him. That's how your points lead goes down the toilet. Just dumped him. 
I'll be able to save it. Unfortunately, it'll be the last running car finish in 40th place. It will be the last running car in our scene to be best. That's going to be a tough pill to swallow. Makes me wonder how well the 5 did as the Quinsler uh, lost a ton there. This light. Uh, I do want to see where the what happened to the 88 because he got he got DNF on lap two. So he had to be involved in something here or there that took him out of this race because I did not see what happened. Here. Oh, 63 got back too. This was on that lap when I believe the 99. Yeah, that's when the 99 had his issue. Oh, maybe not. Okay, let's see what happened here. 16 got in there. Ooh. Got into the 83. 83 got damage. Ah, okay. I missed a little bit there. So 83 at Thunder 24 fan got in this lap two. His issue as he came in right to, late to that one round. There were really three walking in the chicane. You know, the best stop there in the chicane. I don't know. Carousel. We had to be involved in something here. These guys are racing real tight, so you can know, see for sure really well what they're doing. Same fate as Batatenhaw. Loose off a corner. Specifically a 93. He was in the dead last, too. Man. So two cars. Man. Thank God sand barrels exist IRL. So well, that was interesting. Um, so Zigzagoon saved up all of the stuff to that last lap. Any last thoughts, Reggie? No, I don't. Well, track uh, house two, track house two, three, four. Yeah, and uh, Patrick Miller got the most laps led. There was actually passing, so I think there was a success there. We'll have to see if this setup can do well in the Cup Series. Maybe a little bit less on the difficulty side, as cautions um, probably be triggered a little bit more easy in the Cup Series. But again, that was interesting. But um. Uh, for me, Reggie Fogelman and NCCRS, this was Watkins Glen Race 11. We'll see you next race. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and pull that up. That way, they don't have to wait. I don't know why my volume's down. I've been noticing it the past few times. But um, the next cup race is at Coca-Cola Super Speedway. So that's going to be interesting as this is the Coca-Cola Sim Series. So you want to go ahead and say goodbye, Reggie? Later. Adios, and I was going to wrap it up here.